news to bring you. The hunt is on for a box of radioactive materials that got lost on the way to Texas A&M's campus. It was a 27-pound box. It was shipped from a lab in Edina, Minnesota, but it never made it to the College Station lab for research. Now, the strange thing is that FedEx records say that someone did sign for it back on August the 21st. Lab researchers are still hoping to find it. They say that the elements don't pose any harm if they remain secured and undisturbed. Wow, missing for more than two weeks now. We begin tonight with breaking news. Texas A&M and a shipping company are searching for radioactive material that was to, supposed to find its way to an on-campus office but has gone missing. Late last week, an internal email was sent within A&M discussing that box's disappearance. According to the email, the FedEx shipment left from Adena, Minnesota, and the Science, Engineering, and Education Company, or SECO, which has a branch that makes radioactive material for equipment and research. According to the memo obtained by News 3, FedEx notes the package was delivered on August 21st and signed for by a K. Housley. Now, it's 20 inches on each side and weighs about 27 pounds. In a statement tonight to News 3, a Texas A&M spokesperson says the university and FedEx have been working to locate the package, which they do not believe was received by A&M's Radiation Safety Office. That statement continues, quote, We obviously want to locate this package as quickly as possible because it does contain radioactive material, but it doesn't present a health threat to the community as long as the contents, which are secured in a box with two layers of inner containment, are not disturbed. This sealed package, like many others, are routinely sent via Federal Express from companies that specialize in providing sensitive shipments to universities and other entities. This matter has been reported to all appropriate federal and state regulatory agencies, end quote. If you have any information on this missing material, you are asked to call A&M's Environmental Health and Safety Office at 979-845-2132. First of all, did you know it's okay for FedEx to send 27 pounds of radioactive isotopes? I know if I go to the post office, they'll ask you if you have anything flammable. So it seems like they're breaking the law and they say they're routinely sending radioactive materials just through the mail. I mean, this, is, this mail is touching our mail. Uh, this practice is crazy you can see what just happened and now the school is saying the ATM school they don't want to take any heat so what do you think they're going to say oh we found it right like 12 days later and they say they don't think they anybody signed off on it and they have a uh, house Lee whatever that guy's name is so I don't think we should take them at their word because obviously they're going to spin 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 and tell the public what they want to hear that they were never in any danger uh, but we are in danger when we're having these radioactive packages going through our mail. Here's the report I'm reading. A package of radioactive material was supposed to be delivered to an all-campus office at Texas A&M University has gone missing. According to an internal email sent by Christopher Meyer, an assistant VP with the Office of Safety and Security, the FedEx shipment was sent from the science engineer in Dina, Minnesota. The company makes radioactive material for equipment and research. But they're not telling us the isotopes, guys. What what kind of radioactive material? We're talking um plutonium, tritium, cesium, strontium, tritium watches perhaps, some glow stuff, make some glow sticks. In a statement to KVTX, a Texas a and spokesperson said the school is confident. The package was not received by the university's radiation safety office. They're so confident they didn't receive it in this first report. Now I'm going to show you another one where they say, yeah, we found it. We obviously want to locate this package as quickly as possible because it does contain radioactive material. But we hasten to add, it doesn't present a health threat to the community, provided that the contents are not open. Uh, no freaking Sherlock's. They say it has two layers of inner containment, but what? Freaking plastic? We don't know. The university said it has reported the missing shipment to all appropriate federal and state regulatory agencies. The package is said to be medium-sized cardboard box weighing about 27 pounds. 
I mean, that could make a really big, dirty bomb. If anyone has any information about the box whereabouts, they're asked to contact the Environmental Health and Safety Office immediately at 979-845-2132. And now I'm going to tell you the rest of the other story I was reading at Fox News, where they say they found the box. You know, just to ease your mind a little bit. Now here's Texas A&M's story. Now just keep in mind, think about what they would want to tell the public, and then come to your own conclusions. Texas A&M University has located the radioactive source package that was missing. It was found in one of our secure hazardous material storage facilities. The package was unopened, undamaged, in its original shipping condition. The package is safe, and the storage of the community was never in any danger except that we're shipping around these 27 pounds of plutonium in a package for all we know. A FedEx spokesperson told Fox News on Tuesday the package was delivered to the university as scheduled on August 21st. On Friday, an email sent internally by Christopher Meyer, an assistant vice president with the Office of Safety and Security, asked for help in locating the shipment. According to the station, the FedEx shipment was sent to the College Station, Texas School from the Edina, Minnesota Office of Science, Engineering, and Education. Rick Verk makes the radioactive material used for the research. On Monday night, Texas A&M University said in a statement the package does contain radioactive material, but we hasten to add it doesn't present any health threat to the community. Just breathe in, you know, one half particle. It's enough for you. Provided the contents which are secured in the box, the two layers of inner containment are not disturbed. The steel package, like many others, are routinely sent via Federal Express from companies that specialize in providing sensitive shipments to universities and other entities, the statement read. And now, this is the question I ask you, FedEx. What kind of paper, when he signed, was there a hazardous material notice on that package? What those contents were inside of that box? I want to know. The public should see that.